Hello, my dear friends. How are you? Fine, okay? Right. So, yesterday, what were we doing? We were studying the uses of the definite article, the. So, yes, we will continue that. Right? Now you can see the next use, that is, Eight, we can say eight, Sorry. with superlatives, with superlatives, you know, superlative means, see, adjectives, we have studied adjectives, and the adjectives have degrees of comparison, we have seen positive, comparative, and superlative, means the highest, it's a tall, taller, Tallest. Okay. Or we say good, better, best. So which is the superlative? Best is superlative, tallest is superlative, cleverest is superlative, isn't it? Yes. So when you use a superlative with a noun, see that? Then with the superlative you should use the Symbol. What is the symbol reason? Because you are specifying that. Because you are particularizing that. You see? Say, the tallest boy standard. Not all the boys, but the tallest boy standard. The tallest girl standard. Not all the others. So particular, that's the thing. Specifying. Particularizing. Stressing. Isn't it? So that is specific. See, you are saying, the best student in this class is Arjun. The best student. So you are particularizing him, specifying him. So if you remember that general, general rule about the specializing, particularizing, specifying, then it becomes easy. So we say, the best, the best student. See that? The tallest boy. The tallest boy. The greatest country. The greatest country. See? The greatest country. The, the smallest the smallest coin. See that? The you can say that. So that's very simple. You can understand. You, wherever you find superlative, you can use. Okay. Then, the ninth use is, sometimes, you know, there are some adjectives, like, uh, what we say, adjectives like uh, the rich, you know, rich, poor, these are adjectives. Rich man, poor man, Lazarus was very poor, Lazarus was a poor man. Then there was a rich man, no? the story you remember, Lazarus and uh, the rich man. So, so then what you do is, you know, when you use an adjective, an adjective is used meaning people, so you say like this, the rich. Then that means rich people. Rich people. The poor. The poor. That means poor people. See that? So when you are using this adjective, when you use that with or meaning people, then you use the. The, the poor are crying, the rich are laughing. <laughs> See that? Did you get that point? So the rich means all the rich people. The poor means all the poor people. Understand? Like that, you can also use the French. The French. 
that means French people, French people or people of France, the English or the British means people of England, people of England. Understand? What is that? The Chinese. Chinese means people of China. People of China. What Chinese people? The Japanese means the Japanese people. Japanese people or people of Japan. So in this case we use the adjective. The British, the French, the Chinese, the English, the Irish. The Irish. See? Then the rich, the poor. Understand? Then what you can say? The clever find their way out. The clever, the rich, the poor. That means that stands for people. Then what do you do? You should use the before the adjective. See, here again you will find you are specifying. See, that point is always there. You are particularizing now. the rich, the Japanese. So basically, whenever you use the, you are one or the other way particularizing, specifying, or you are stressing, giving some stress, or you are making it definite. That's why it is called a definite article. Understand? Means that the Irish, not others, not others. So there is a kind of separation. The rich, not the others. Exclusive. The poor, not the others. The British, not the others. The French, not the others. So that is exclusive. Understand? Something is exclusive. Then you are using the or particularizing against. Understand that? So today, you remember, first one is, what is the first use with superlatives? Okay. The second use is with the adjectives. Some adjectives, the meaning people. If you see an adjective and it means people, then you should use the. Like you have seen now, no? Just now. The French, the Italians, see that? The Italian, the French, the Understand that. So that becomes easy for you. Okay. Very simple. Yes. So two points to remember today. First one is with the super What is the second one? The second one is you have to use with the adjectives when it means people. Okay. Now third you can see, you know the uh, sorry the nine ten, isn't it? Ten ten one. Then the one today is, you can see, you know how the, a day is divided. A day is divided, first division is morning, then second is afternoon, afternoon, third is evening, fourth is uh, night, and with the whole day. See that? A day can be divided like this. Morning, afternoon, evening, night, then day as such. Now, when you use these three divisions, you should use the. So we say like this, all the morning. All the morning, all the afternoon, and all the evening. 
we were praying all the we were praying all the morning then we were playing all the afternoon and we were singing all the evening See that all the evening that that is a adverbial expression adverb the time time that is a adverb so all the morning all the evening all the afternoon but when you say night say so only all night we are praying all night no the <laughs> this is not that all is no the and then if we are using day also all day they work all day don't say all the day they they slept all night don't say all the night english it is like that don't ask me why because english is like that so you can remember no? morning afternoon evening da always day and night now i think that is not a very difficult thing to remember no? yes now you see uh in the news you know about government departments so the municipal departments you know government departments municipal departments universities listen when you are you when you are speaking about them you should say the gain the same point you are particularizing no? we don't say education department we say the education department listen the financial ministry the man or the ministry of finance you can say Mr. The Ministry of Commerce, you know that. The University of Cambridge. The University of Delhi. See, the University of uh, uh, Oxford. The University of Oxford. So government departments, municipal universities, etc. we should use the simple reason again you are particularly saying that but if you are saying like this oxford university don't say the oxford university the university of in that case you can say the so what do you do government departments you can use the government departments departments then municipal offices municipal offices and others universities universities you should be used to that but if the name of the university is like this oxford university don't say the oxford university because then it is already specified that is the point see when you say oxford university <coughs> oxford university <coughs> there is no need to say the oxford university because it is already clear specific but if you write the university of the university of oxford then of course you have to specify that the ministry of education say that or the education department because there are many other departments so you have to say the education department understand i think that is very very simple for you isn't it okay now tell is tell the point is when you find names ending in rod rod see that mg rod you know mg rod kk rod kk rod london rod london rod you should use the the kk rod the mg rod the london rod the calcutta road that is with 
Because there are too many rods, you know. And there may be, some days what happens, you know, say, uh, uh, there will be two rods with the same name. See that? So you have to specify that, you know. So this, that lantern rod. We are taking the lantern rod. Maybe another lantern rod may be there. Or the KK rod. See, the MC rod. Like that. The MC rod. The MG rod. MC rod. So you have to use the. Understand? Yes? That is simple. Now you see, 13. Number 13. Significant? See, tiger. A singular number. Lion. A singular noun, the tiger, uh, the cat, a singular noun, dog, singular noun. Suppose you say that tiger is a ferocious, ferocious animal. That means you are speaking about all the tigers in the world. There is no tiger which is friendly to us. Or if you go to any country, you come across a tiger, no tiger will come and shake hands with you. Or come and kiss you. Isn't it? It will kiss you but on your throat. And you will be with that, that will be the last six. Understand? So, what happens is that the tiger is a ferocious animal. Means that applies to all the tigers. The lion, you see. The lion is a. The lion is a strong animal. The lion is a strong animal. So the, the cat is a domestic, domestic animal. So the, the dog is a faithful animal. When you say like this, you know, singular, this is singular now. Singular, singular, singular. And you are using the. Without the, it will be tiger is a ferocious animal. It's a general statement. In the sense, simply a general statement. But when you say this, tiger is a ferocious animal, a tiger is a ferocious animal. So this. Or some tigers are ferocious. It doesn't cover all the tigers. If you have to cover all the tigers, you have to say the tiger. Because this singular noun stands for all the tigers. Understand? Singular noun stands for the, the lion is strong animal. The, the elephant is a huge animal. Because all the elephants are huge. Can you find a dwarf elephant anywhere, elephant anywhere? Can you find a small elephant anywhere? All the elephants are. This applies to all the members of that family. Isn't it? All the. So, if, when you say, use a single noun. And that singular noun stands for all the members of that family. All of its kinds. Then you should use the. Again, you are specifying the tiger, not other animals. The elephant, not the other animals. The cat, not the other animals. The sheep, not the other animals. Understand? So that idea of specifying, that idea of particularizing, is, can always be applied to the use of the. Understand? Yes. Now the next point is we can say the next point 
is see you are you know some names of countries like this so you say uh, some countries in the world they are made up of small units some small units and uh, okay can you name one one country in the world which is made up of small units very fa- very what you must say very famous country for that matter which one has powerful donald trump ah, yes the u s say u s a he said the u s a you know why because it is made up of smaller units united states of america many states came together and then they formed this equally important and equally famous we can say next one is the ussr see the ussr understand the usa or the soviet union the soviet union Again, same, same. The Soviet Union, the Soviet Union. Understand that the USSR. See, then you say the United Kingdom, the United Kingdom. Again, you can see that specifying the idea of specifying, isn't it? See, the United Kingdom, not any other country. That it is. that means there are many other countries which are made up of small units this is the united kingdom like the ussr so when you say the united kingdom this is not the ussr this is not the usa understand or when you say specifying you don't say the india we don't say the india this is not the word but the republic of india is okay the republic of india you can write the republic of india understand the kingdom of bhutan the kingdom few words like this kingdom of bhutan so that the republic of india the republic of the republic of china again sir the republic the republic of china again sir so smaller or the same with the islands also we say small units now. so we can say the andamans the andamans see the west indies the west indies together the west indies the andamans the nicobar again yes small units when you find that islands or a country made up of small units you can always use the close your eyes and use the but you cannot say the china the india you cannot say see you also the bhutan you cannot say the bhutan the sikkim you can also say but if you say the republic of the pakistan you can also say you can say the republic of pakistan the republic of india the republic of or the kingdom of so that means again you will see the same thing particularizing you are particularizing it that's it okay got it now if you think this you have got a Right. You know names of trains. The we don't say the Rajasthani Express. We will say the Rajasthani Express. Names of ships. We don't say Vikram, but we will say the Vikrams. Understand? That is. So you can say names of ships. Names of ships. Trains. You should use the the Rajasthan Express, so the Grand Trunk Express, the Madras Mail. 
You don't say Madras mail. Madras mail will come at you. Yes, the Madras mail will come. Because you are particular. There may be other mails. This is the Madras mail. Understand? What the point? See that? Then there are the Dhani Express. See that? The Bombay Havra Express. See that? Like that you have to say. Or, you say, names of ships. The Queen Elizabeth, you say. The Queen Elizabeth. The Vikrant. Understand? So this is what you have to say. And that is these simple things, no? That again you are specifying. So now, we have seen 15 uses of the. And before that we have seen the pronunciation. There are three pronunciations. One is the, other is the, and the, the. The, if a vowel comes after this, the army, the apple, the apples, plurals, the army, the arm, the, the idiots. Isn't it? The idiot. The idiot. The indigo. <laughs> the indigo. The umbrella. The eagle. The eagle. The ear. Ear. This ear. Not the other one. The other one, the other one is a ear. Not the ear. Uh, or the yeah, yeah, sorry. Then you say the ear you can say, but here. The ear, the ear. Because the ear is not a. Yeah, yeah, it is not vowel. We have seen that pronunciation. Yes. But then this is used unstressed position, isn't it? The hill and the valley. The hill and the valley. The boy and the girl. The man and the woman. Did you, remember? Did you get it? See that? The hill and the valley. The Pope and the King. The Pope and the King. You know, the Queen and the King. Not, uh, just, uh, we are not pronouncing it with the stress. See that? Okay. So now you know, as I told you, most of the cases you will find very particular, superlative. Superlative, you are particularizing that. When you say the French are the French are a loving people. So all the French, the rich, very generous, all the rich people. The poor are suffering, means all the poor people. So that the adjective is standing for people. Then you have a particular thing again, isn't it? Then I told you about morning, afternoon, evening, the. But not day and this. Another is the departments, it's very simple, the education department, the University of Calcutta, the University of Madras, the University of Kerala, the University of Calcutta, the University of Calicut, see, understand, but when there is a name, don't say, MG University, you don't say the MG University, or you say a name, like the, you don't say the Oxford University, you say Oxford University, understand. Did you, did you get it? The University of Harvard, you can say, but not Harvard, the Harvard University. Because that is already specialized. Specialized. The Ministry of Education. That? So that is another thing. Okay. Then you have got Rod. Grand Grand Rod. The Grand Grand Rod. The MG Rod. There's a simple things, no? Singular round representing all the, of the kinds. We have seen, no? The, the tiger is a ferocious animal. The dog is a domestic animal. Means all the dogs are domestic animals again. All those countries made up of small, the USSR, the UK, the United Kingdom, the USSR, the USA, see, the Andamans, the Nicobar, the West Indies. Simple now, yes, countries, etc. And now before names of ships, the Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Victoria, the the um, what we, what we must say, uh, the Vikrant, see, these are all names that we use, ships, etc. And you 
is very simple, you can remember this, no? it's very difficult. Some of this is very simple. All the time, keep this in mind, whether you are specifying something, whether you are excluding others, in that case, I think most of the case, you can be sure about it. So it's not a very difficult thing, you can remember it, I hope, and you do. You take the, you, you, you go through some nouns like this. Make a list of them and see whether general use, particular use, see? The names of universities, names of republics, names of countries with smaller units, then superlatives, do some exercise and then it becomes very easy. And also, when you are reading your textbook, you know, you should mark this or write down in your notebook. Then whenever you find a da, you write that expression in your notebook and think why da is used here. Then you will find that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 12, 15. You will some of you more. You will see tomorrow. Then I, this section will be over. And in the meanwhile, I told you, know, whenever you find a noun with the, just take that down. And then think, why? What is the reason for using the here? See that? And then it becomes very easy. I think that you can manage your all very intelligent chaps, you know. Okay. So let's see tomorrow. Until then, do some exercise and come back with your doubts if